Stay over here to the next game. Let's go to the streets of Miami in this one, guys, where we have the Miami Heat, man. Heat getting three points back at the house here versus the New York Knicks here laying three on the road. If you like to go the money line route, Knicks are laying minus 145 on the money line. Uh, Miami Heat getting back plus 125 on the money line in this one. Over and under sitting at 215 in this one. Um, Chris, how are you looking at this game, my guy? Can the Knicks uh, stay hot and make it 8-0 with Josh Hart over there? I really wanted to take the Knicks in this spot. Um, I'm pausing on that. Obviously, they're coming off a nice home stand. We know how well they've played the past seven games, right? I mean, seven seven wins in a row, highest net rated team, number one offense as well. Um, and now they're going to face a Heat team where that it's it, they're not functioning like a full team right now, right? It's, it's a lot of Jimmy Butler trying to salvage things for that team, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Tyler Hero, extremely inconsistent right now as they continue to count on him. And it's just kind of up and down, um, you know, it's like their true number two or number three, I guess you could say with Bam Adebayo. So um, the, the Heat just aren't a team I can trust. But at the same time, you know, this is this is a conference rival. Uh, they're at home. They unpredictably show up and play really good defense sometimes in these spots. So, uh, you know, this could be a spot where we see a little regression for that Knicks offense. Uh, maybe we see a little positive regression for the Miami Heat at home, especially coming off that loss to the Sixers. Again, that was a game where they allowed 119 points to the Sixers. It was a it was a closer game until it wasn't, right? So maybe we see some improved defense from the Heat in this one too. But New York Knicks, man, they're they're playing good basketball right now, and I almost always anticipate, you know, they go on these streaks, right? And and then eventually it feels like they're going to falter again and go on a losing streak. Um, but I mean, right now you got to give them the credit for the they deserve their hawking rebounds their effective field goal field goal percentage is up and they're playing with just more t team chemistry like they kind of found their groove i think josh hart is definitely helping a lot with that too so um no play for me in this game i just want to kind of sit back and watch but i do like josh's plan this one i think is pretty much the only way you can look at it yeah, that's a good point there. Yeah, I, I could only look towards the Knicks here, man. I know that in theory they're going to drop one at some point. I think it's probably going to come the next game versus the Celtics here, but they're red hot right now. I'm playing with confidence. I mean, they're in a groove right now, so it's really one of those to where it's, if it's not broke, don't fix it. I would not fade the Knicks. Like, even if you do like the Heater, it's just I'd stay off the game, man. It's Knicks or nothing. We know there's questions with Jimmy Butler's knee as well. Um, if he plays, it might go back to Heat minus one in this one, but regardless, man, Heat have not been a strong home team. 9, 20, and 1 against the spread at the house. Man, it's absolutely horrible. Josh, how are you looking at this game, my brother? Yeah, it's horrible because I, I don't think they're a good team. They're a pretty horrible team when you look at them on paper, and their offense sucks. Uh, there's no signs of that flipping either, and I think that's probably the biggest concern for Miami, where they've always been able to rest their laurels on their defense, and their offense has always been good enough to get them through uh, those playoff series. But uh, that offense just isn't good enough, and I don't think that there's any sign, like I said, of it improving in any meaningful way either. So for me, I, I'm on the unders here. I, I think that this is going to be played at an absolute pedestrian pace. We're looking at you know probably sub-90 possessions, I'd say, each way here. Uh, the Knicks aren't exactly going to push pace themselves. I think that their defense matches up really well with uh, the only you know, form of scoring that Miami has. The Heat are not great in terms of spacing the floor and hitting well from beyond the arc, and that is kind of the Achilles heel for New York. Everything else, they defend really, really well. So uh, the Knicks, I think, like I said, get enough stops in this one, and I trust that Miami defense at home in a game like this to cause the Knicks a lot of headaches and to really make them uncomfortable. I do still think that they get the job done in the end, uh, but they do make life tougher and difficult for them there. Jimmy Butler probably sits this one front end of a back-to-back, -back, you'd imagine, just given that they have a division game with Atlanta tomorrow, which is obviously much, much more important, uh, given that that division title is going to go down to the wire as well. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him sitting out in this one if he were going to sit one of those two games. Um, obviously, like I said, their offense just drops off a cliff when he's not there entirely. They don't really have a lot of options. It's going to be a lot of Bam Adebayo. It's going to be a lot of Tyler Hero. Uh, the Knicks match up, like I said, very well with both those bodies. Uh, and with where those guys like to get to their spots as well. So for me, the, the under here, it's come down just a tad. I have no problem at current market value either. I still have this one closer to 212, 211 even as fair price um, and wouldn't be surprised to see, uh, you know, one of those games where one team makes it to 100 and the other one doesn't. Yeah, that's a great point there, Josh. You made some great points. And obviously, these totals have been low in both of these teams' games. The Knicks have really been locking down on defense as well. And like you said, Josh, this Heat 
offenses, man, is they're trash. They don't really have a point guard. I feel like even if they, even when they still had Lowry out there, man, they've been trash, man. So I'm not looking towards back in the heat, man. Uh, this team is in free fall, in my opinion. They might even have a chance to possibly miss the playoffs if they keep this lackluster play up here, guys. So um, I'm only looking towards the Knicks in this one, but our guy Josh is rocking with the under um, in this one, under 215 in this one. Uh, I'm going to wait to see what's up with Buller because obviously if he's out, I don't even care what the spread is, man. It's going to be Knicks or nothing. They're going to be they're going to be a fish out of water without Buller over there, guys. So Josh rocking with under 215 in this one, guys.